All right, guys, Cuddleboy32 here. Check it out. So we're going to continue to move forward with the Timber Creek build. And the next thing we want to talk about are gas blocks. Now, the gas block I'm getting ready to introduce to you is a newly designed by a good friend of mine. His name is Ryan with Airborne Arms. Now, this is American-made. Uh, it's a very small company, but they do they have a lot of pride in their products, which I'm really happy about to help these guys build their business. Now, talking about gas blocks, usually I try to use an adjustable gas block if it's just a uh, uh, like a go to the field shoot 16 inch barrel with either a carbine length. I don't even worry about doing an adjustable gas block, but I, I want to do something really cool. And in this case, uh, Ryan stepped up to the plate. Now, this is. Uh, one of the uh, gas blocks that was sent to me by Velocity. This is a, a PSA adjustable gas block that I kind of had to shave that nut down and screw right down. But <laughs> anyway, uh, they're here for a reason. And one is to show you in, in comparison of what we're looking at. Now, the re <laughs> this is the Airborne Arms. Now, let me preface this video by saying this is a pre-distribution to the public version and I was so impressed. I said, don't even worry about sending me one that's actually being marketed right now because I'm in love. I want you guys to look at this thing. What a cool ass design. I'm serious, man. Look at that. All the machining is impeccable. It, it's, it looks like it's a stealth fighter. And you know what? We're going to mount it to this uh, rifle and we're going to give it a go to see how well it does. Look at the lines that are machined in it on the back side right there. Absolutely awesome. Beveled edges. Uh, so let's go through the details of this thing. Uh, it, not much to tell you other than it's a great looking design. Uh, I'm, I think that with this being right here, it will hold up to the pressure because the gas block or gas hole is right there, as you can see. Uh, it's held together with two stainless steel pins. I believe this model right here is made of stainless steel. Uh, there are two versions that are available. One is stainless steel black nitride, and that uh, the retail on that is $69.95, and then the titanium is $89.95. Now, here's the kicker. Uh, the titanium, the advertised weight of that gas block, is 0.48 ounces. 0.48 ounces. The black nitride in stainless steel is advertised as being 0.83 ounces. And, and what I want to do, I've got my little trusty scales here. This is one that I use to measure some of my, uh, my pistol stuff. But this particular one that I have is 0.96 ounces. Again, this is, the, this is a pre-production version, but I'm really, really liking this. And when you put this onto a stainless steel barrel, it really, really shows it off. And then the cool part, and I showed you what it looked like, was inside this blue anodized handguard from Tim Timber Creek. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So let's do this. I have my favorite gas tube. Everybody asked me what I'd use. I use Lantac uh, gas tubes, and I buy all my stuff uh, off of Big Daddy Unlimited because I buy a bunch of stuff. Unless I'm doing a build kit or something like that, I'll just go ahead and do it with uh, uh, Palmetto State Army because, I mean, honestly, for the money, you're going to be, you're doing pretty good with those guys. Uh, but anyway, the Lantac comes with a pin. We'll go ahead and take it over here to the vice block. I'll put it in, and then uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, be right back, and then we'll mount it to that barrel. Let's just see what it looks like. Not a lot of things make me happy, but that does. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy on here. Now, one of the things I did was I checked the alignment of the hole, and it is tight to the shoulder on the barrel. Let's go ahead and bring this guy on here just like that. And voila. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that thing. That. That's, that, that in itself is a piece of art. So let's go ahead. I'm going to line it up. We'll put some uh, Loctite on that thing, and we'll consider this guy as being installed. All right, there it is, man. Absolutely beautiful. And I, I cannot wait to shoot this guy. All right, guys, with that being said... Airborne Arms, this is their, uh, well, this is the stainless steel version, but it does come in the nitride stainless steel as well as the titanium. 
Pretty good job there, Ryan. Pretty good job. Scuttle Boy 32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. One of the things I wanted you to show you before we left is look how good that looks with that gas tube in there. What a contrast in colors. Pretty cool.